also for beginners App Store and Google Play optimization. Hi, my name is Anna and I am an ASO specialist. If you are new to App Store optimization or ASO and want to learn how to improve your app's visibility, downloads and growth, this video is for you. We'll break everything down step by step in a simple and beginner-friendly way with real examples and tools that will help you get results. So, what exactly is ASO? ASO stands for App Store Optimization. It's the process of making your mobile app or game more visible in the App Store and Google Play, so more users can find and download it. You can think of it like SEO, but for mobile apps. When people search for something in the App Store, like Photo Editor or Offline Farm, ASO helps your app appear in those results. The better your ASO, the higher app ranks and the more organic installs you get without spending money on ads. And the best part? Good ASO works 24-7 even while you sleep. Let's talk about why ASO is so important in 2025. Millions of apps complete for attention. You can have the best product in the world, but if people can find it, they won't install it. ASO helps you stand out, grow your user base and improve your visibility, all without paid marketing. It helps you reach users in other countries, improve your conversion rates and track what's working and what's not. In this video, we will cover both theory and practice. You'll learn how to find the right keywords, how to optimize your metadata and how to track your performance using ASO tools. We'll use ASO Mobile, a universal platform created specifically for App Store optimization, and I'll show you how it works in real time. You can find the link in the description below. Ready to dive in? Let's start with step 1. Keyword research. This is the foundation of ASO. Keywords are the words and phrases that people type into the App Store or Google Play when they are looking for an app. For example, Instead of searching just fitness, users might type home workout for beginners, step tracker without ads, weight loss app for women. These are long tail keywords and they are easier to rank for. If you choose the wrong keyword, even the best app might stay invisible. So, let's see how to choose the right ones, the keywords your users actually search for. First, head over to the ASO Mobile website, you'll find the link in the description below. If you are new here, go ahead and create a new free account. It only takes a minute. And that's it, you're all set to start optimizing your app. So, let's add your app to ASO Mobile and get started with the optimization. Click the plus up button at, at the top of the page. Then pick the country you want to optimize for, like the US, Germany, France or any other market you are targeting. You could add your own app or any other, even your competitors' apps, no special access needed. Just type its name in the search field. Also, we can click on the checkbox and add suggested keywords. These keywords will appear in the keyword monitor, but I'll talk about that later. Once you've added the app, your project is ready. ASO Mobile will take you straight to the App Report, a tool that gives you a full overview of your app and its competitors. You'll see everything – metadata, keywords, visuals, visibility, reviews, downloads – all in one place. It's a perfect way to evaluate your app, get ideas from others, and better understand your market. Now, when your project is ready, let's dive into the ASO optimization process. Go to the Keyword Monitor tab is where the real optimization starts. Think of it as your main workplace for keywords. This is where all the keywords you add from other tools will appear. Here you see everything that matters. How popular a keyword is, its traffic. How many people are searching for the app using this keyword in the selected country? Since I have an application in the App Store, so we see the traffic from the App Store. For example, the keyword CapCut is searched for more than 
20,000 times. This app in the first place, as we can see from the current ranking. How hard it is to rank for its difficulty. How effective it is efficiency. For application from the App Store, here is also such an indicator as search ads. It is the popularity of the keyword in ad. This is the only indicator that the App Store gives us. When you want to include a keyword in an ad, this indicator shows you its popularity from 5 to 100. Keyword Monitor helps you focus on the right keywords, the ones that can actually bring you downloads. With Keyword Monitor, you can track performance over time and quickly react to any changes in the market. We can see how the position of the wallet is changing on the graph over a certain period by selecting the period of interest. Let's move on and take a look at the keyword suggest. This tool gives us all the keywords from the traffic, the words that are in the suggestions. For example, enter the vault card here and click the Analyze button. We see the words that users would see when entering the word cut. Then select the words that suit us and add them to our list of keywords. You need to click on the plus button. This is a very useful tool because only popular words that form app stores get into it. Next, move on, on and consider Text Analyzer 2. It can analyze any text, description of this app or competitors' apps, reviews, and so on. Add any text, for example, description for our app, and click the Analyze button. Here we can see all information about keywords, total count, unique words, and so on. You can analyze keywords and see which ones your competitors are focusing on more. There are not just words that we extract from the text. There are keywords with traffic that are popular in the App Store and Google Play. Here we also add relevant keywords to our list in the Keyword Monitor. We've just explored some free tools you can start using right away. They help you gather keyword suggestions, analyze up text, and spot useful search terms, all without spending a cent. But if you are ready to take your ASO to the next level with deeper insights, competitor tracking, and advanced keywords data, let's move on to the paid tools and see what they unlock. Try ASO Mobile free for three days. Click the Try button to activate your free trial of the ASO Max plan. This will unlock all the tools you'll need for app optimization. Use my promo code ASOGROW to get 30% off. Now let's go to the App Keywords tool. This tool has two great functions – keyword search and app indexing. In the first tab, you can check your app's indexation, the keywords your app is already showing up for in search. You can also sort keywords by traffic, the most popular ones, or by position, rank, from highest to lowest, for example. Or we can use a feature called filter. For example, let's filter out all keywords with traffic below 100, because it's not enough and up to 2000 to choose the average numbers that are acceptable to our application. Lifehack. This lifehack will help us determine wherever the keyword is relevant to us and add strong competitors for this keyword. From your keyword list, choose one that's highly relevant to your app. Then click the little icon with three vertical bars next to it. It shows top apps in search for that keyword. This is where you'll see which apps are already ranking well. Pick about 10 to 15 apps that are similar to yours and click the plus icon to add them to your competitor list. We need this in order to get information about the keywords used by our competitors in the next tab – Competitors. In this tab, we can see how many competitors are indexed for a particular keyword and add those words to our list. 
For example, here you can see that competitors particularly use those words. So it makes sense to add them to your list. That's what we do now by clicking the Add button. Then go to the Suggestions tab. This section selects hints for our entire semantic core. So here we see a list of keywords that are already relevant to our application. The more keywords we add to our list, the more suggestions we get. Here we also select the most relevant keyword and add them to our list, Keyword Monitor. Next, go to the Keyword Finder tab. It is suitable for new applications because it works on a different principle. Here you search for keyword not by indexing, but by keyword used in metadata. It's a very convenient tool because it has many tabs. For example, popular. Here you can see a list of popular keywords. Long tail tab. Less popular keywords, but easy to index. And others. Click on the relevant tab. This section shows you a list of keywords that are directly connected to your app. So we look at what is relevant to us and add those words to our list from those tabs. The more relevant they are, the better your chances of being discovered. So we analyze the main tools for finding keywords for our app, taking into account competitor research. It was our step one. Interesting, right? If you have any questions or want to learn more about a particular tool, each tool tab has a manual where you can get acquainted with the tool separation in detail. Step two, metadata optimization. When you have found your keywords, it's time to use them in your metadata. Metadata is everything users see on your App Store page. Your title, subtitle, descriptions, visuals, and so on. It's also what the App Stores use to decide when and where to show your app in search results. Go to the ASO Creator. It's a smart text editor built right into ASO Mobile. On the left, you'll see your full keyword list, the same one you've built building so far. On the right, your metadata fields, app title, subtitle, description, keywords. Start filling in these fields using keyword from the list. Every time you use a keyword, it will get highlighted in the list, so you can track your progress live. Use as many relevant keywords as possible, without stuffing or making it unreadable. At the top, you'll see a progress bar showing how many keywords you've used. You'll also see the total traffic score of the keywords you added to your metadata, a helpful way to track a potential reach. This helps your app get indexed for the most relevant searches. To fill in the keywords field, just click the Generate Keyword button and the system will generate keyword from the image from your list. The system does not use words that have already been used in title or subtitle. For an application, in the App Store it's important not to repeat keywords. Unlike the App Store, Google Play's algorithm expects keywords to appear multiple times in your text. But here's an even better hack. Just go to the AI tab. Type a few words about your app and in seconds AI will generate a fully ASO-optimized description for both Google Play and App Store. Click the Download button to get a file with your final metadata or simply copy the text directly from the ASO creator. Now go to your App Store console, wherever is the App Store or Google Play, and paste your updated metadata into the appropriate fields. Let's look at a few common mistakes beginners make. Using too many board keywords like game or photo. 
keyword stuffing repeating the same word too much, not explaining what the app actually does, ignoring the character limits. Remember, write for both the algorithm and real people. Now, when you updated your metadata and publish it to the store, it's time to track your results. Let's head over to the ESO dashboard and see how your changes affect visibility, keyword rankings and downloads over time. Here you can also compare the performance of your app with your competitors. You see that our app has very good visibility in USA. 180 words are in the top one, and so on. Next, check the keyword distribution tab. It's not just about being indexed, it's about ranking high enough to drive installs. Focus on the green zone, top 5 positions, that where downloads actually happen. Once you're getting installs, check downloads by keywords. It shows which search terms are actually bringing users. Sometimes mid-ranked keywords dive the most traffic, so focus on what converts, not just what ranks. And finally, make it a habit to check your visibility regularly. The stores change fast, rankings shift, competitors grow, and small drops can turn into real loses if you miss them. Regular tracking helps you stay in control and react before it impacts your downloads. That's it! Now you know the basics of ASO and how to use ASO mobile tools to optimize your app step by step. We covered everything from keyword research and metadata optimization to competitor analysis and performance tracking. But this is just the beginning. On our channel, you'll find more videos about ASO, app growth, and smart marketing strategies, all explained in a simple and beginner-friendly way. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like it, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and of course, subscribe so you don't miss that coming next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.